Before the SAC board, there was like a little, lot of disorganization. Things weren't being brought to the staff's attention. And, you know, children were left out on important things that should have been addressed. An experience I had with my daughter's school, who unfortunately did not have SAC, left me unaware of the actual goings-on at the school. We weren't actually comfortable with speaking to teachers because we didn't really know them. It was unorganized. It was unsupported. My school, which is Kensington Kappa Creative and Performing Arts High School, um, it was a school that was very, um, I want to say it was a school that didn't have a lot of communication among the, among the students, among the parents in the neighborhood before we had our SAC, which made it put a strain on getting resources, getting information out to our community, getting information out to our parents, keeping our students involved. Um, those were the hurdles that we suffered without having a SAC in place at that time when I first started. We just kept noticing things that the parents weren't involved in in the school. And, and it, it was disheartening to just see children, you know, not having a voice in the school or parents really not having a voice in the school, didn't know who to turn to and, you know, and, and the friction between parents and, and, and the staff was just a lot, it was just a lot for me.